show you one design flaw here I have with my cart. If we take a look over here, see there's the forklift. See down there is the tracks going in. So if I want to load from the side, like I have here, I end up giving up uh, a huge amount of travel, 18 inches in this case. I've got 69 and a half overall on my x-axis. And as you can see, get right in here on the side, that's as close as I can get uh, to the cutting wire, which is about 18 inches away when I'm loading with the uh, forklift. Show you my <laughs> work around here for uh, the design flaw that my table doesn't go out quite far enough. You see, this is that's the old automotive hoist that I use as the uh, axis, and I get about 69 inches of travel on it. And when it's all the way out, end up with about 18 inches between the stone and the wire with that 69 inches of travel. So that means I'm giving up 18 inches of cutting. So my kludgy workaround here is I added this, another threaded rod here. And the way this works is these bolts, I've got four of them that go in, in there and they hold the cart to the carriage on the x-axis and so uh, if I take out those bolts now and I just turn this this threaded rod which I can do by hand there's like 4,000 pounds on that on that cart and I can just turn it by hand and I'm moving it in and out so uh, here's an example I just use a the drill. You get the idea. That gives me my, uh, extra oh well, there's a bit more than 18 inches and that enables me to get the table out there so I can get the stone on now you can see the stones much further away and I can pull the uh, forklift right in there and get get it on so a bit of a kludge but uh, that's just the way it worked out here's a closer look at it just a simple uh, bearing housing there and then this is uh, a plastic acme threaded nut from roton and this is the holder for it um, this end again i've just got these collars on here to hold it in place ideally i should have a housing sort of similar to this so that the bearing isn't taking any uh, axle loads um, I've got these thrust washer here so I was gonna build a it's gonna build something similar to the that's on the other end around here so that it wouldn't be taking any of the the forces this way but they're pretty low and as you can see even with you know that 4,000 pound stone on there it moves pretty effortlessly, so I'm not going to bother building the uh, housing for that. I'll just leave it like it is. And if the bearing wears out, then, then I'll look into, into it. But given how slow I turn it, it's uh, it'll probably last forever. So this is how I, the angle I come in on with the forklift. So now you can see it's extended out and now I can get the, uh, the stone in there 
and that last wheel is still on the track. Let's see here, I've marked uh, that yellow line. Represents where the uh, wire is when uh, when I've got that uh, fully retracted. So as long as I get the stone in between that halo line and this little line here, that means I can go all the way through it. So that's about 69 and a half inches of travel that I've got on on there. So that's it for this video. What the? Oh, great got a new video. So glad I subscribed.